Chromecast with Google TV is a great new update to the Chromecast family. You now get a GUI that can run apps independent of an external device. Just go to the Play Store and find an app that you want. But there are many phone apps that will run on the Chromecast that do not show up on the Play Store. These applications aren't meant for a TV interface, but because the Chromecast runs on Android, it's possible to run these apps through a process called sideloading. This can greatly increase the functionality of the Chromecast. The use of a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard may be required for the phone apps because most do expect to be used on a touchscreen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to sideload your favorite phone and tablet specific apps onto your Chromecast with Google TV. So let's begin. To accomplish this, you're going to need to set your Chromecast to developer mode and also install three apps. The needed apps are Send Files to TV, Sideload Launcher, and a file manager of your choice. I prefer using Solid Explorer, but its TV interface is not very intuitive, so I suggest File Manager USB, which has a better TV interface. But feel free to use any file manager you feel comfortable with. In addition to apps on your Chromecast, you're going to need the Send Files to TV app installed, either on your Android phone, PC, or Mac computer. There is no iOS version of the app. I couldn't get this app working on my PC, and I don't have a Mac to test it with, but you may have better luck than I did. But the app works perfectly on my Android phones. So we have the necessary apps installed. Now let's begin setting up the Chromecast by enabling developer mode first. From your Chromecast screen, go to the settings. Move down and select system. Then select about. Now, move down until you reach Android TV OS build and keep hitting the select button on your remote until you see a message at the bottom of your screen saying you are now a developer. And developer mode is now enabled. Now it's time to enable installation of unknown sources for the file manager we installed. This option will allow you to install apps that are not in the Google Play Store, so make sure you trust what application you are installing. Go to settings again. Move down to apps and select it. Scroll down to security and restrictions and select that. Select unknown sources. And here I have the file explorer I installed. I'm going to enable it. It now has the ability to install apps that are not in the Google Play Store. If you have other file managers installed, you will also see them listed here. Enable those two if you want them to do the same. The Chromecast is now ready to siloed apps. Now it's time to download some APKs. APKs are files that contain an application's installation package. You run these files on an Android device to install the application. I'm going to install two APKs that as of the recording of this video are not on the Android TV Play Store. Those apps are Google Stadia and Microsoft Game Pass. I'm going to download the APKs using my Android phone. If you want, you can do the same on your Windows or Mac computer. But like I mentioned before, I couldn't get the Send Files to TV app working on my Windows machine and I don't have a Mac to test this app with. But feel free to do this step on your Mac or PC if you want to. Now, open up a web browser on your Android phone and navigate to www.apkmirror.com. Click on the search icon and type Stadia. On the search results, Click on the download icon on the topmost result. It should have the latest date on it. On the next page, scroll down until you see a download APK button. Tap on that button. A pop-up will appear warning you about the download. Tap on OK to begin the download. The APK will be saved to the device's download folder. So now we have Google Stadia downloaded. It's time to download Game Pass. The Game Pass APK will also demonstrate a different type of download. Some apps have the necessary files for different CPU types in one APK. The Google Stadia APK does this. However, other apps, like the Game Pass app, have different APKs for different CPU types. When encountering these apps in APK Mirror, you have to make sure you select the appropriate APK for the Chromecast. Let me show you how. On APK Mirror, Hit the search button and type Game Pass. Click on the first download icon like we did before. Scroll down 
And now, instead of seeing a download APK button, we see a see available APKs button. Tap on that button. Now scroll further down and you will see a list of different APKs for different CPU types. For the Chromecast, we want to download the one that has the V7A on its name. Tap on the green download link that's next to it to go to its download page. Scroll down and now we see a download APK button. Tap on it and confirm the download. So we have two APKs downloaded to our download folder. It's time to send these APKs to our Chromecast for installation. Okay, so on your Chromecast, navigate to the apps page. Move down to the your apps section. Here, you'll see a list of apps. I have a lot installed, so they all won't show up here. I will have to select the see all icon to see all my apps. Now in this screen, I can see the send files to TV application. I'll move down to it and open it. Skip all these screens, and when asked to allow permissions, select allow. Here's the main menu. Select the receive button. The Chromecast is now ready to receive a file. We now need to get on our phone to send a file. Open up the send files to TV app on your phone. Make sure you allow permissions and hit OK on this pop-up. Tap on the send option. Then tap on the download folder. Here we see the Google Stadia file. Tap on it. We now get a list of devices that are ready to receive the Google Stadia file. I see my Chromecast listed, so I'll tap on it and the file transfer will begin. If we go to the Chromecast screen, we can see the progress. And it's done. If you have any other APKs you want to send, just do the same. Time to install the APKs we transferred. From the home screen, go to the apps page and open up the file manager. If you install a different one, the instructions will be different, but the process is basically the same. You just have to navigate to the downloads folder and run the APK files you transferred. So in my file manager, I'll select the internal storage. I'll allow the permissions and then select the internal storage again. Now I'll open up the download folder. Here we see the two APKs I transferred. In this file manager, to see the full names of the APKs, navigate to the top of the screen and select the three line icon. We can now see the full file name so we know exactly what we are installing. To install an APK, use your remote to select it. I'll select the Game Pass APK first. The installation process will begin. You are asked to confirm. I'll select the install option and then the APK will install. When it's done, you have the option to open the app you just installed or go back to the file manager. I'll select done and install the Stadia APK too. And now Stadia is installed. Now it's time to open these files. Opening the apps you transferred can be as simple as just navigating to the app and launching it, just like I'm doing with Google Stadia here. Keep in mind that since these are really phone apps that we installed, their GUI might not be optimized for a television. If you install other APKs, you will encounter some that require touch controls. For those, you should use a Bluetooth mouse to use them. There will also be some apps that will not show up on the Chromecast app launcher. If I go to see all my apps, you will see that the Microsoft Game Pass app does not show up. In order to run it, you can either find it in the app section in the settings and open it from there. But a better option is to open up the siloed launcher app we installed earlier. This application will list apps that do not show up in the launcher. You can see the Game Pass icon here. Just select it and open it. And we're done with siloading. You can repeat the same process for other apps you want to install on your TV. Keep in mind that premium apps will not work unless you already bought them from Google Play. APK Mirror is not a pirate site. And that's how you sideload apps to the Chromecast with Google TV. Advanced users can use FTP to transfer files to the Chromecast. FTP will even work with iOS devices, but it requires a more involved setup. The method I showed you here is much easier. If you want to see the FTP method, let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time. Thank you.